What on Trent Willow? Calculate. This thing. I know it is too huge to solve. This huge guy is the sum of two numbers, and these two numbers look really alike. Only one thing of them are different. Here is plus. Here is minus. So we know that these two guys are conjugated. By the way, all of us have noticed there are too many square roots. We have to suppose the result is equal to a. We just have to solve the value of a, and the value of a is just the value of this calculation. But you have to pay attention. Since these two numbers are both positive, so the value of a is always positive. So, if we can get the solutions of the equation about a, we mustn't consider the negative roots. We just get the positive root, and then that is the answer. Two square roots, two huge square roots. We cannot bear it. So now our first step is to square on the both sides. As our first step, I would like to calculate the value of a squared. Why? Because it is convenient. It is this huge guy squared. And then all squared. That is it. Now I have to use a formula. A plus B, all squared, is A squared plus B squared, and then plus two times A B. So now A is this square root of four plus square root of sixty-three divided by two, and B is square root of four minus square root of sixty-three divided by two. So, as our second step, a squared is this squared. Just remove the square root, four plus square root of sixty-three divided by two, and then plus b squared is this squared. Just remove the square root. It is four minus. Square root of sixty-three over two, and then we have to add two times of a b. So it is two times of square root of a then times square root of b is equal to square root of a times b. So we just need one square root. That is okay. And then what's under the square root? It is four plus. Square root of sixty-three over two, and then times four minus square root of sixty-three over two. Very good. Positive this, negative this. The sum of them is equal to zero. So cancel. This is the problem. If we want to calculate the result of this number, we have to first. Calculate this number, which under the square root. It is equal to four plus square root of sixty-three divided by two, and then times four minus square root of sixty-three divided by two. We have to use another formula, and this formula is a plus b then times a minus b is a squared minus b squared. So it is a is four, b is square root sixty-three divided by two, and then substitute it in four squared, and then times b squared is square root sixty-three divided by two. Okay, all squared. Then four squared sixteen minus this squared. A over b all squared. It is equal to a squared and divided by b squared. Square root of sixty-three squared is sixty-three. Divided by two squared four. And then how to calculate it? Since this sixteen 
is 64, then divided by 4. So it is 64 divided by 4, and then minus 63 divided by 4. It is 64, then minus 63, all divided by 4, is 1 fourth. So the value of this is 1 over 4. And then this is the number which under the root. It is 1 divided by 4. So next step. 4 plus 4 plus 2 times this. The square root of 1 fourth. If 1 fourth puts on his square root, then it should be 1 second. 2 times 1 second is 2 times 1 over 2 is 1. 4 plus 4 plus 1, it is 8 plus 1 is 9. So the value of a squared is 9. Then a is positive. So the value of a is square root of 9 is 3. You got it? And don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.